Hello everybody, back again Saul here for another game spotlight. Today we are playing Apocalypse. It's is uh this is a demo off of an old PS1 demo disc and it's uh it's a pretty alright game. Uh it does take a while to load up the demo though. Lol PS1 loading screens. Yay. Uh <laughs> but uh yeah. It's a fun game. This is just the demo, so it's unfinished. But this is Apocalypse, starring Bruce Willis here. And it's a twin-stick shooter. With your right stick, you get to choose which direction you choose in. And at the beginning there, we saw all of our uh, controls. So, R1 is your jump. R1 is jump because your thumbs are preoccupied, obviously, with your twin-stick shooting. So, R1 is jump. L1 is crouch, and if you move in a direction while you're crouched, you roll. And, uh, R2 is the smart bomb. Which, okay, let's do it here. Smart bomb. And it just sends a shockwave out from you, and it kills everything. Ooh. Shoot. There we go. And L2 lets you cycle through your weapons you see up there in the upper right. <laughs> you cycle from your uh, regular gun, which you never run out of ammo for, and your uh, particle beam here. Particle beam is pretty good. Alright, so this game is made by, uh, well it was made by Neversoft and published by Activision. The old partnership, you know. Um, I think originally Activision was developing it and then they abandoned it. And Neversoft picked it up and finished it. And then Activision just published it. But, uh, yeah. This is the same team that worked on the Tony Hawk games. And the uh, Spider-Man game from, like, 2000, I think. For the PS1. <laughs> and, uh, so since this is just the demo and it's unfinished... It doesn't have any of the uh, Bruce Willis voice acting in it, which is amazing, let me tell you. It's just a bunch of uh, little one-liners and little silly things. But it's starring Bruce Willis. And uh, originally, Bruce Willis was planned to be the sidekick of the main character of this game. But then as development went on and... Um, Let's say the working relationship with uh, Bruce Willis was no longer really there. They decided, hey, let's just make him the main character. That way we have less dialogue we need to record with him. So, okay, this section we have to avoid the searchlights, obviously. But, yeah, so this is uh, this demo only has the first level of the game, I believe. And I've been going through it fairly quickly. I used to play this demo all the time when I was younger. Um... The story of this game is you're in prison, which is where we're escaping from right now. We're escaping from a prison. And uh, we have to save the world from a crazy um, religious scientist guy who's trying to end the world. And he's like making his Frankenstein monster, four horsemen, weird type things. All right. So here we get a flamethrower. Ta-da! Okay, so I never really played this full game, um, ever until recently, and it's pretty fun, I'd say. Um, the, um, the demo is something I played a lot when I was younger, but, yeah. So this is where the demo ends here. It just kind of dumps you into this little room here, and the camera pans around, and you get a nice shot of PS1. Bruce Willis and then you uh, I think it gives you like a little screen about like coming soon and uh, yeah the game came out in 98 1998 so nope apparently not it just drops you back at the beginning of the demo alright let's do one more run through and see how much better we can do here we go smart bomb all of them just kill them right away so that is you just shoot towards it, but instead of shooting, you uh, you kind of kick it. 
and trip the switch with your foot. Because that's what all the cool guys do, right? Come on. Alright. And the, <laughs> the, the soundtrack to this game includes uh, Poe and uh, System of a Down and lots of late 90s goodness. But I was actually thinking of speedrunning this game and making this my bad speed game of choice. Just because everyone needs a bad speed game of choice. <laughs> okay. Um, in the full game, the screens over here where we get the, the glitched out picture there, there's actually a video playing on it. Of like the prison warden or whoever telling you to go back to your cell. And they actually had to develop the uh, the game engine specifically to be able to to be able to place video in the game, which they later used, I think, also in Tony Hawk and stuff. But uh, they w they went into this project knowing that they were going to be doing Tony Hawk after. So the ah uh, uh, yeah, hundred percent health. So what they did is after they finished this game. <laughs> They made a model of uh, of Bruce Willis here. I forgot the guy's name. His last name's Kincaid. I know that. Um, but of him skateboarding around the levels from this game, so they could kind of test out what they were gonna do with Tony Hawk later, which I think is pretty funny. And I wish there was a way to get my hands on that, because I would love that. All right. So here, obviously, if you go into the searchlights, you get shot. And I don't think they're RNG'd. I think they're on a set pattern. Ah. So once you figure out the pattern there, that should be pretty easy. Checkpoint. 100% health. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright. And now I'm going to show you guys the easy way of getting past this last section without having to burn them all. Alright, in the full game here... So here you have to shoot your flamethrower at this control panel. In the full game, they placed a lever here that you kind of just pull, and it blows everything up. Because what prison doesn't have just levers that you pull and uh, and just blow everything up. But okay, so let's let these guys swarm me. Hey guys, come here. Ready? Smart bomb for your face. Suck it. All right. <laughs> so. That's going to do it for this video. Um, I am thinking of doing a series on my channel for the full game for this. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. Tweet me or comment on this video or whatever. Oh, look, here's the splash screen. The end begins this November. 11 enormous levels, explosive deadly weapons, dozens of enemies on screen, fully destructible whatever environment, I think, was what it said. Anyway, that's going to do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.